Hi, this is Tim. Welcome to our PLC Programming Methods to Sequence Machine series. In this series, we're going to be simulating a machine with some basic buttons and lights. It's going to start with the green light on, and when we press the green button, the yellow light's going to come on. We press the yellow button, the red light's going to come on. Just to add a little bit of variability, pressing the red button won't make it go to the next step, but we need to press and hold it for one second, and then the blue light will come on. And finally, pressing the blue button will start the process all over. While this is a really simple thing we're doing here, this can easily be scaled to any machine. And the best part about the methods we're showing here is they are compatible with all Allen Bradley PLCs. From the Control Logics and Compact Logics for Studio 5000, formerly RS Logics 500, to RS Logix 500 for the MicroLogix and the Slick 500, and even the Connected Components Workbench for the Micro 800 PLC. Actually, these are probably compatible with most brands of PLCs because they use basic programming fundamentals. In our previous lesson, we learned that moving values such as 1, 2, 4, and 8 into an integer shifts a single binary element that can be used to track machine steps. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a multiplication method of it. Also, while I told you earlier on that I would sort these from the one I'm most likely to do to the one I'm least likely to do, this is one I absolutely would not do. But it does build on the one we learned about in the previous lesson. Again, please note that this was extracted out of a live stream, so it is not perfect. If you didn't catch the previous lesson, I'll put a link to the whole series down in the description. Now, there's a couple variants of this that, that um, you could do. And I do not, absolutely, positively do not like this next variant. But I do see it, and so if you're going to see it, then we need to talk about it. Is what you'll see people do is instead of using this move command, they want to show, I think they just want to show that they know a thing or two about math. That's all I can figure out. But instead of doing a move here, they'll do a multiply. And they will take the sequence number and they will multiply it by two. Now think about it a second. First, we gotta go to the bottom. We start out with sequence number one. Okay, if all that's true and we multiply, we're gonna end up with a two. And if we do that again, we're gonna end up with, well, I'm sorry, two, we multiply, we're gonna end up with four. And four, we multiply, we're gonna end up, you see, it's gonna double. It does, they are right, it does work. But I don't think this is a good thing. But let's go ahead and go through this so we can see how it works. And my machine is really starting to choke. I don't think it likes streaming and running virtual machines at the same time. Now what's kind of neat about it is you use the exact same thing. So I see sequence number times two sequence number. Here it is again, sequence number times two sequence number. And so we actually I can just copy that. I don't even have to do all that. Copy that. Paste it right there, delete that. So this is a multiplication example of it. So let's download this so that we can see that it's gonna do the, exactly the same thing. All right, so now, first let's see, does it actually do the exact same thing? So we have a green light, I press the green button, yellow light, I press the yellow button, red light, that doesn't work. I press and hold it, it shifts on, goes back. So this does exactly the same thing. I mean, and my issue with it is, is the previous way, you just needed to understand slightly that integers are made up of binary bits. Now you need to understand that multiplying numbers by two will shift that bit. And I do not think that this is good. Um, I do think that people do this just to show that they know how to do a bunch of neat math. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. Next, we're going to show you a few links, including the PLC programming methods to sequence machine series. Till next time. Hey, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.